All right, so now we're gonna do the follow-up, which is just Destiny 2 in-game performance optimization settings. Oh, look at that clan XP. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into keybinds or anything like that. I'm just gonna go straight to, oh, oh, except for aim smoothing. Yeah, make sure this is off in game two. If you see that this is on after doing the other part, uh, turn it off, apply the settings, close the game, then go back to the preferences file and make sure that the game didn't turn this back on. And the last thing I said, I made a mistake where I said, um, that the preferences files quote unquote can't or something like that be overridden by the in-game settings that is not true uh, so make sure that if this is on when you do that make sure it's off like make sure you turn it off and then go make sure that you reset the aim smoothing thing in the preferences back to zero if it is not at zero okay now for the actual video setting. So full screen, play in full screen. Try to avoid playing in windowed or any of this stuff. It's just gonna the game runs better when it's in full screen. VSync should be off. This will cause you nothing but input lag and pain. Uh, frame rate cap you can't have on. I have it on because I don't really care to have my FPS much higher than my refresh rate. For people that have a 60 hertz monitor, which I'm assuming is the vast majority of people, you don't need to have this on. Or if you do, don't set it to 60 so uh, set it to something higher than that uh, but if you consistently get higher than your refresh rate you shouldn't have this on but i don't so um this is mainly just to stop the game from spiking up and down in refresh rates from extremes even this might be a little high and then field of view i prefer to have mine all the way up but you might want to have yours slightly smaller screen bounds doesn't really matter some people like to have it a lot smaller uh, so that their radar and their UI are closer to the center, so it's quicker to see it, but that's just like hyper competitive stuff. Brightness entirely depends on how bright your monitor is. Be careful not to, like, I would follow mostly what this says, like to, it's still as simple on the left is just barely visible. Uh, like, technically, I can technically see it at two, but that's just way too dim, so um, that will depend on your computer and what your monitor is, not your computer, but your monitor's brightness. Graphics quality, we're gonna have this at custom, and we're just gonna go through all this crap. Anti-aliasing, off, 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 all this stuff off. It is not, this game, this stuff will undoubtedly make the game look prettier and more immersive, but it is not as, nearly as impactful and nearly as important as some of the settings. Even, fa in fact, I'd say the minimum Destiny 2 settings um, other than render resolution, still the game looks quite good. Uh, it doesn't really let you go that very that low. Uh, so it's up to you. If you really can't stand having this on low, you might have to, you know, turn it up a little bit. I would recommend um, SMAA uh, versus FXAA, and the reason the problem with FXAA is that it doesn't do quite as well with motion, and so it can look still choppy and gross, but. Texture quality I have on medium, and I might even put this higher, but this is probably the single biggest factor outside of render resolution for impacting like the actual look of the game. When this is on low, the game just doesn't look that good. So I prefer to have this a bit higher. If you really are still struggling, you can put this to even lower. Um, but frankly, that's, that's up to you. I, I think it's worth having this set for me while everything else could basically be on the lowest setting, which is what it is at. So. Uh, this will be somewhat testing, right? And unfortunately, you kind of have to restart with some of these, so you might remember to do that because you won't actually see the changes until you do that. But it'll tell you down here. Anyway, so motion blur, though, should definitely be off. Uh, this is similar to VSync, just uh, the devil of video settings and games. No VSync, no motion blur. You can turn wind pulse on or off. I, I don't really notice this um but i assume by having it off it's not causing it's not i'm not missing out on anything big and you know with europa now it might be doing something more but frankly uh it, it, it's up to you again render resolution this setting is not often talked about because most people don't change it and that is because it is very impactful in the look of the game you're essentially reducing just the overall quality and how well things are rendered at your resolution you can even actually lower your resolution while keeping the same ratio um you'd have to find that in here i don't know what mine even would be honestly 
uh, I've always played on 2K, but or 1080p is basically the same thing. Uh, so you can lower that, and that would help too. Resolution is certainly a huge factor in performance. If you find a way to lower it without making the game look all wonky, uh, you can even mess with the different options you have. Like if I were to do this, um, I can confirm and now my game is stretched. Like it's stretch res or something. I don't know if anyone ever, why anyone would want to play stretch res in Destiny, but you can. Uh, but this definitely helps, even if it makes the game look terrible. So ideally, you can lower the resolution and if you're still running into problems where you're still like really bad performance, you can start to lower this. I would lower it by increments of 10 and then maybe 5 and like slowly try to do it because it will greatly, you know, start to cause problems by going lower. And I would have to restart the game to show it, but um, you can even go higher. There is no point in doing that. I don't know why anyone does that. So, yeah, don't go higher. And then gameplay finally is just... There's nothing really super important in here, honestly, other than maybe, like, if you want to display and see your FPS, you can help do settings and make sure that that's on. If you want to, like, see how the performance is working. Make sure your reticle is located at the PC default. You definitely don't want that at console default on PC because it's not in the center. Um, text chat is bugged. I like to have auto hide on, but every time I restart the game, it turns back off, which is super annoying. And then other than that, like, there isn't a lot in game to change. Um, so the big the big hitters are V-Sync off, Motion Blur off, any of these as low as you can get them while still enjoying the game. For me, I can have them all off except for texture quality, which I like to have medium or higher. And then uh motion yeah motion blur said that and then render resolution if you really want to you can try messing with that and maybe even the regular resolution you can mess with that and then also make sure the game is in full screen so that's everything and then make sure to restart the game and then even i would restart if you've done if you're watching this part after you have watched the optimization on the desktop restart the game and restart the whole computer um that's generally good to make sure everything is fully functioning so uh yeah but that's about it i don't think i've got anything else so thanks for watching hope this was helpful i hope i didn't totally break your computer that was not my intent uh good luck